Hi everyone, this is my very first YouTube video and it's how to make dog necklaces slash puppy necklaces. I've watched a lot of other YouTube videos on how to make your own dog necklaces but it involves using sewing machines which I don't have and I would not like to purchase one because it will probably be sitting up at the closet soon collecting dust. So um, there's also websites that has puppy necklaces, dog necklaces, you could customize them, but I thought why would I pay for that necklace when I can actually make one on my own. So I went to the dollar store in the craft section and I picked up a little kit of beads. There's, as you can see, a variety of beads. It also comes with um, the little elastic string that you could put the beads on. However, I did try that. I made a little design and I put it on her but uh, she doesn't really like it too much because it does dangle a lot and then she scratches it so this is what happened um, and then it just stretches apart so um, I, from the dollar store I also picked up the elastic string just like this it's really stretchy, it just moves all the way when she does, and I've already started um, a little necklace on my own. I mean, this is just starting from scratch. I don't really have a lot of experience with making puppy necklaces or human necklaces, so bear with me. I mean, I'm not even using the right color thread. I'm using blue thread with pink little design hearts. So anyways, I wanted to show you how you could do this on your own. Um, and it most of it costs under $5. Like you go to the dollar store, okay, it's not the dollar store anymore, it's a buck or two. And um, you can pick up whatever beads you want, needles that you need, they come from all different sizes and the color threads that you need. So for this one, um, I started out with hearts, and this is how big it is. It's really tiny, so it's a little difficult to put it on. Now, as I'm sewing it, I like to layer it. So I put it underneath the hearts that I've already started. And it does have a hole in it. So with that hole, you want to take your needle and just put it in the little hole right there and you want to pull it through now when you do that you're going to want to do it at least twice so once you pull it through you just put the needle on the back you just try to poke it right back in that hole like so and once again you pull it through okay so you have your first heart attached it's a little difficult to see because these are really tiny um, and it doesn't matter if the thread sticks out like this uh, because we are going to be layering it so the heart on top of this heart, like these over here, will be on top of it, so you won't really get to see all the little crevices. And once you've done that, now you want to attach another heart on top of that one there. So you just take your little heart, put it on top of the needle, through the needle, all the way down the elastic and then you're going to want to hold your heart your second heart that you're putting on a little higher than the first because you don't want to sew it over the heart that you've already placed and now you just poke it through pull your needle out and you're probably going to want to do this heart at least two times maybe three just so that it's secure so that if your puppy or dog does decide to scratch the necklace it's going to be secure 
I'm just going to do it three times. Okay, so we've done those two. And since we're going to go back to sewing the bottom part at the back, I'm just going to flip it upside down. You're going to want to poke your needle um, about the middle. And then you're just going to pull it through the front. So this is what it's going to look like at the back. It's just going to be on a bit of an angle just because you're going to be pulling it through the middle of the other side that is. So then again, you want to take another heart shape. And pull it through. There we go. You just pull it through, hold it secure. I don't know if you can see that. And then you're going to want to sew it in the elastic. It's a little difficult to show you on camera since these pieces are very, very tiny. Once again, you might want to do the... Oh, I didn't even get it. You might want to do the second heart. The heart at the bottom twice and the heart at the top three times. I mean, when I first got started with this, it took a little bit of patience. I mean, it's not really my forte, but it's just something that I chose to do that's now my hobby. And now my puppy, wherever she goes, whenever I take her out on walks, everybody compliments her little necklaces. I've made a variety of different ones using beads, not just these hearts. And um, everyone likes them. They're really easy. So some of the other necklaces that I wanted to show you are right here. So these are the other necklaces that I chose to do. This one is just a pink one, and doing the beads is very simple. Um, and then I did another one here that is a pink and blue pattern all the way around. Just so that she has a variety of different colors. And um, she's also wearing one. I think that one has white beads on it. But if you'd like to know how to do those necklaces, then post a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks!